Welcome back, history enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive deep into the untold story of the Battle of Iwo Jima, a fierce military campaign that took place during early 1945 between the US Marines and the Imperial Army of Japan. I'm your host, and you're watching, that spicy history teacher. The island of Iwo Jima, located 750 miles off the coast of Japan, held immense strategic importance due to its three airfields, which could potentially serve as a staging facility for an invasion of mainland Japan. On February 19, 1945, American forces launched an invasion, expecting a swift victory lasting only a few days. However, the Japanese had devised a secret defensive tactic that would prove to be challenging for the Marines. The Imperial Japanese Navy and Air Force had suffered crippling losses in earlier clashes of World War II. As a result, they focused on setting up a well-hidden network of camouflaged artillery positions across Iwo Jima, making the island more defensible than anticipated. Under the command of General Tadamichi Karabayashi, the Japanese were ready to repel the initial attack. On that fateful day, February 19, 1945, US Marines made their amphibious landing on Iwo Jima, only to be met with unforeseen challenges. The soft, grey volcanic ash beaches made footing difficult, while Karabayashi's artillery positions in the mountains opened fire on the advancing Marines, inflicting significant casualties. The lack of immediate response from the Japanese during the initial bombardment was part of Karabayashi's plan. He skillfully stalled the Americans' progress, forcing them to struggle for a foothold on the island. Despite this setback, the Marines managed to seize one of Iwo Jima's airfields, fulfilling their stated mission. In the following weeks, Around 70,000 U.S. Marines landed on Iwo Jima, significantly outnumbering the Japanese forces. However, the battle was far from easy, with both sides suffering heavy losses. The famous image of the American flag being raised on Mount Suribachi captured the world's attention, but the fighting continued relentlessly. For four weeks, battles raged on in the northern part of the island, with Karabayashi's garrison in the mountains making the U.S. forces advance difficult. On March 25, 1945, a final Banzai attack by 300 Japanese soldiers was quelled, marking the turning point in the battle. The American forces officially declared the capture of Iwo Jima, but the fighting wasn't over yet. The Marines spent weeks searching for Japanese holdouts who refused to surrender. Even after World War II's end, two holdouts continued hiding in the island's caves until 1949 when they finally surrendered. Unfortunately, Neither the US Army nor the US Navy could use Iwo Jima as a staging area as originally planned. However, Navy Seabees managed to rebuild the airfields for future emergencies. The Battle of Iwo Jima left a lasting impact on history. The Marine Corps War Memorial, also known as the Iwo Jima Memorial, was dedicated in 1954 near Arlington National Cemetery to honor all Marines. The statue, based on Rosenthal's iconic photograph, symbolizes the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought in the battle. The events of Iwo Jima were so significant that they inspired movies like Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima, depicting the battle from both the American and Japanese perspectives. And that wraps up the untold story of the Battle of Iwo Jima. Let's never forget the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought on that small, volcanic island. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep learning spicy history with that spicy history teacher. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the past.